Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to show you how to do a quick little modification to get a more linear clutch pedal press out of the Fanatic V3 pedals. As you can see, there's quite a bit missing, namely the, the top linkage that attaches to these camming plates and uh, yeah, a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to show you how to do this in a lot stiffer, a um, lot more linear. If you've driven a car with a clutch, you'll know that immediately th this whole system just doesn't feel like a real car. It just doesn't. Um, so this, this little modification is to kind of tune out that sort of artificial feeling. They're trying to replicate the clutch engaging and disengaging, but it just doesn't feel right. It's kind of senseless to have that little extra weird portion like where it feels like the clutch just gives up. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Here we go. These are the tools that I use to do this. Um, you can use any any uh, crescent wrench or adjustable wrench. Even some pliers might work. Um, the size that you specifically need for these nuts right here are 17 millimeter. So if you have a 17 millimeter open-ended wrench, that'll work fine. Okay, so first you're gonna have to get this little set screw out right here. Yeah, I've already kind of got it started. Um, make sure don't drop it in there because I'm probably going to drop it I'm trying to do this on camera and I dropped it okay so after you have that out you'll be able to push the pin out right here probably with the same tool and uh, you might want to apply some pressure at the same time you can pull back on this right here to straighten it out let's jam this back in there Okay, now the pin should come out. Now that you got the pin out, this whole thing is just free floating here. So now we can just cam this backwards. Again, don't let this slip out. It's not too powerful, but with the red spring, but with the black spring, it's a little bit more powerful. Let that cam backwards, and this whole thing is just loose now. Now you just unscrew this, and you might need help with a, the 17 millimeter or the, um, or the crescent wrench. And then this entire unit is no longer useful to us. We are going to still use this little dangle. And we're going to keep the rubber uh, stop in place. So now we just push forward on the pedal. And sometimes this little sleeve will get caught up. Just push that in. Um, see how, how it gets caught right there? We'll just push that in. Lean that back. Then you can slide the spring and the little spacers uh, or guides off we're going to reuse these small guides there's two different size guides that come with these pedals the larger flange ones that are intended for a larger inner diameter spring and the small ones unfortunately we have to use the small ones because we just uh, this is all that comes with it I wish the flange was a little bit larger than these but um, so the spring and the large flanges if, if you have that are no longer useful and now again you'd want probably a 17 millimeter wrench because it's probably on there tight but mine's loose because I you know, I've done this before. I'm going to set that down. And we're going to unscrew both of these all the way until you just have the rod. Now you're going to want to wipe the rod down. <laughs> you're going to wipe all the grease off your rod because um, we want it to be as dry as possible for this next step. Okay, and you might want to take the uh, whatever you're using to dry it off with and, and wipe it down inside the threads here of this bottom part as well. Um, if, if yours is pretty dry, then don't worry about it. Now we're going to take a little bit of uh, blue thread locker. Just do a couple drops. Let that uh, kind of drip all the way down to where it's coating all the, the threads that are going to be engaged. You don't need to put a, a ton in there. And especially if you're going to um, be reversing this modification, just put a little bit on there. I'm not going to be reversing this though, at least not anytime soon. Um, okay, go ahead and thread it on in. It's okay if there's excess that comes out the middle there. Just get it as tight as you can by hand. I'm going to suggest to let this dry for a full day before you use this. Uh, but it's not a huge deal if you start using it right away. It'll still hold, but it will reduce its effectiveness, the thread locker. Okay, so now we can just set that down. 
and take our new spring, which I will put in, in the link below uh, where to get these. They're $10. This is not intended for this pedal set. That's why we're having to kind of modify this. Uh, but it, it works out perfect for this modification since I, I'm wanting a more linear clutch pedal throw. Now we're going to take our uh, smaller sleeves, pop them on both sides of the spring, new spring, slide it on down, tilt this back over. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit dangerous because this spring is so much stronger. So when this when this cam or when these cams snap forward, make sure your fingers are not in the way because it, um, it will it'll get you it'll it'll cut you or pinch your finger or something. So our goal is to actually get this little um, indentation that we're going to use it for. It's no longer a threaded hole that we're going to be using. We're just going to use it kind of as a, as an indentation, and we're kind of lining it up with this corner right here. So. Um, this might be a two two person operation if if you can't get it first time and you just don't feel confident. I'm gonna use this belt again because this is kind of a nice little hand protector, and it's gonna spring forward with a lot of force. So kind of hold on to it. This flat part right here needs to be touching the rubber. I'll just do it with my bare hands. If it cuts it cuts us, uh, then that'll be a good example of what not to do, I guess. I'm gonna use my my fingers here to kind of pull up on this at the same time I'm turning it inward. Okay. Oh, that's close. And there we go. And that's it. That's the mod. So this is in place. Just make sure and kind of seat it where it wants to go. Um, path of least resistance kind of thing. And now you can test it out and see how it does still have a little bit of camming action at the very edge. You can kind of see it goes a little bit down. Um, we don't want a ton, but and this spring is actually the perfect length to where the spring is not actually the determining factor for it bottoming out. This, the the rod itself is actually bottoming out inside uh, its housing, um, its vagina, if you will. <laughs> If, if you're no longer interested in the, the rest of the video, this is all you need to do. You don't get reduced pedal throw with this modification, at least uh, not a whole lot, so you shouldn't have to recalibrate your games very much, if any. Also, this modification will allow you to not have to unscrew anything in order to do a spring change or any kind of adjustments in the future. Um, there's not a whole lot of adjustments you can do besides changing the spring. If you do want less pedal throw, you can add up maybe like a washer or two. Um, for adjustment, but you saw how, how easy it is. You just pull this back and it's basically like a quick change spring system. So if you saw two videos ago, I added two of these little nuts. You can find these at any hardware store. Basically all you have to do is just find the largest nut that fits in the tensioning hole here. You just unscrew the set screw all the way, then plop one of these bad boys in, maybe two depending on, on how tough you want it. And uh, that'll increase your, your resistance on your your shifter here so I've already done that modification so the, this new clutch modification where this is a uh, more linear and stiffer overall in conjunction with the, the shifter mod I just told you about um, is gonna make this to where I can more closely replicate a real car um, in terms of how much effort it is to shift so here we go okay so the current time to beat is 255 uh, not in the world just my my own personal best so we'll see if we can beat it with this new setup and I'll tell you how it feels along the way. Here we go. Oh yeah. It already feels way better. Yes. Yeah. Feels a lot more like a real clutch. And I'm not gonna be doing the best because I'm gonna be talking to you guys, but uh Yeah, now that I know that this modification works, oops. There's, there's no reason for me to come back to uh, that sort of weird artificial feeling camming action. And that's exactly how it felt before. It's artificial. Just like, there's no... I mean, you don't really feel... If you've never driven a car with, it, with a, a clutch... I mean, I got, I got two sports vehicles with pretty strong clutches. And I don't, I don't feel that point when it disengages 
Like, you know, th this is trying to replicate, or uh, the original factory setting was trying to replicate just um, the the clutch disengaging, and that just doesn't, you just can't feel it, at least not on a, at least not on a regular consumer grade vehicles. Maybe maybe I like on a race car, or maybe I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But every single car with a manual transmission that I've ever driven, I've never been able to feel like when the clutch actually gives way, other than like the, the car moving or not moving. You know, um, you can feel that, but it has more to do with like G-forces and vibration. And, uh, and they've yet to kind of perfect those kind of sensations on on games from what I know. And I know I'm doing horrible, but yeah, like I'm no longer kind of like disappointed in, in my clutch pedal feel. Way more linear. Um, still has full pedal travel from, from the factory. Um, I didn't have to like modify any rods or anything. It's just like everything that's already there works. You just need that spring. And like I said, I'll, I'll link it in the description below. But it's a huge difference. Like before, like the, the clutch was my biggest complaint about this pedal set. The, the throttle feels great. Oh shit. The brake feels great. But the, the clutch has never felt real. And this feels like a real car now. Yeah, so have a good day. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a future video.